my trip to comics and I'm back with my top five picks for new comic book day. If you're interested in finding out what my top five picks are, stay tuned for that intro. So welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Before we get into our top five picks, I want to say first and foremost, thanks to everybody who's recently subscribed to the channel. Uh, the channel members that did do some shout outs and some video shout outs for me in the last uh, few days. I want to thank you guys all. Gotten over the 800 mark. Uh, surpassed the 800 mark, no problem. So I'm going to be doing um, the official 800 subscriber contest entry video that's going to be coming out this week i'm just waiting on one more package to come in and then i'll show you guys all the uh, prizes for the uh, contest so thanks again all right so getting into the um this week's picks we got five pretty good picks and i think maybe one or two honorable mentions so uh, it's going to be a pretty heavy independent week um didn't find a lot of uh, marvel or dc stuff that i was interested in so i'm gonna just get right into it um, so for number five this week, we got our, let's see, our first, uh, Marvel book, uh, Spider-Man 2099 Exodus number three. This is, it's been an interesting series. Uh, this is going to be written by Steve Orlando, art done by Zig Carlos. A few different covers on here. I'm just going to stick to cover A. Uh, 2099's Masters of Evils once killed the Avengers is a statement of their might. Now they return from the stars to reap the Celestial Garden's wealth, but one Avenger survived. Of course, Moon Knight, who's gathered a new team of heroes. So it's going to be a new full team appearance led by Moon Knight. Minor spec. Uh, so check that out. That's my number five this week. All right. Number four this week is coming from... Let's see. We're going to go with... Source Point Press, we got Oblivion Trials, number one. Written by Brandon Chen, Fred Packard, art done by Anderson Carmen. What mystery lies on the other side of the afterlife? After his own abrupt death, a young boy, Kiko, finds himself whisked to an ethereal world into the boat of Sharon, a deity that presents him with a choice that will decide his eternal fate. Sounds pretty interesting. I'm going to give that a shot. So that's my number four this week. And the cover looks pretty nice. Very, a lot of nice, you know, covers this week as well. So that's number four. Number three this week, we are going with an ongoing series. This is going to be the only ongoing one. Uh, the rest are going to be number ones. We got DC Black Label. We got Batman Beyond, White Knight number four. Obviously done by Sean Murphy. Been a fantastic series. Highly recommend jumping on it if you haven't already. Um, just going to stick with the cover A. All right, going down to number two this week. We got from, let's see, Scout Comics. Uh, Agent of World, number one. Written by Dennis Camp. Art by Philia Vertaken. Butcher that name. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, let's see. It looks like it's uh, two covers, right? Uh, look, yeah. Looks like there's two covers. Cover A, cover B. Both look pretty. Uh, I like the cover A. Um, solicitations, <laughs> pretty interesting. Horny robots, super evolved orangutan bosses, joy riders from the 26th century. Nothing phases Philip Blank, top agent for the sci-fi spy organization known as World. But lately, Philip's been wondering if there isn't more to life than saving the world through creative violence. Just sounds like a fun ride. Um, you know, who knows? It could be one of those where it's, you know, a pretty well put story or it's just terrible. <laughs> but I'm hoping it's uh, a, a good story. So uh, it's going to be my number two this week. Uh, I mentioned I do have a couple of honorable mentions. Uh, first honorable mention is one I'm going to be excited to read. Uh, but I know a lot of people probably won't be reading it. So uh, it's going to be a one shot from Boom Studios. We got Power Rangers Unlimited Countdown to Ruin number one. Written by L.L. Uh, McKinney. Art done by Anna Chandra. Um, I personally like Power Rangers in space. I grew up watching them quite a bit as a kid. 
And uh, this brings back two of the fan favorites, Andros and Zan. Um, so they discover their past growing up on KO 35, their journey of becoming Rangers, and the epic battle that changed their lives forever. So it's a one shot. If it does well, then I can see them doing a series. Some great covers. There is uh, a bunch of covers done by uh, Joni Montez that I know uh, a few of the guys in the community are going to be interested in. So that's one of my honorable mentions. The second one is coming from a very small publisher named by Opus Comics. It's called Crystal Planet Number no. 1. There's a lot of sci-fi stories this week. Vivid Space Odyssey where Satchel Walker, man out of time, finds himself caught between desperate factions as they battle for resources in a perilous orbit of a dying star. It's music. It's more importantly the power of emotion that music can conjure, which could bring an end to the conflict. So uh, that one sounded pretty interesting, but it just missed the list as well. So number one this week, I think is going to do really well. Tons and tons of covers coming from Vault Comics. The cover just has that mind-blowing looking cover. It's called Mindset Number One, written by Zach Kaplan, art by John Pearson. Um, just fantastic covers. Look, cover A looks great. I like that art style quite a bit um, just going through some of the covers real quick not really a fan of cover B um, and there's a ton ton of incentives it looks like there's a bunch of uh, I don't I think it's their one in tens maybe I don't know a um, couple of one in tens is a one in 20 by Tom Mueller that looks pretty cool I like those pinks that looks really nice that's like a X-Men style. There's a, a series that came back out a few years ago that looked like that kind of artwork. Um, there's a really cool Christian Ward cover with the uh, brain and all the hands going into it. And then there's a really nice, if you want to splurge, there's a 1 in 100 David Mack. Um, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites by him. But uh, that one, so you got you got some pretty uh, pretty big incentives. There's also a one in, I guess this is a one in either 60 or one in 75 by Jacob Phillips. That's also really cool. I like that as well. So uh, take what you want for that, for all the, you know, the covers. I think it's going to be a really good story. Uh, I didn't even mention the story. When an introverted tech geek accidentally discovers mind control, he and his friends do something unexpected. They put the science into an app to help users break their technology addiction. Sounds like something that goes on a lot today. Everybody's addicted to their phones and their apps. But uh, as their mindset app achieves a dangerous cult following, lies, conspiracies, and murder come to light. Are they helping people or controlling them? Sounds like a fun read. That's why it's my number one of the week. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for my upcoming 800 subscriber contest entry video. That's coming up hopefully later on this week. So until next time, Rocks with the Comics, out.